UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds, fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, USA, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it fit. The fighters touch him up. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Just out of range with that right hand. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. 
Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Good stick. Oh, nice. Shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. And he's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. And they set. Yeah. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. Someone's done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what to do. Run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Nice one, two there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow? Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. 10 seconds to go. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Right hook to the body. Big punch land on the middle. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big head kick lands. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Just a slip there. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, huh? I do. A little bit. Horrible. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Checks that leg kick. He has a commitment to kick oh. right in his show. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left. Big combination.
20 seconds left to go in round two. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. All right, round three coming up next. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You have the power to put this guy down. Just show that. Nobody's not going to get You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got to hurt very bad. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Lee's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. <laughs> Trying to get the knees going. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Lee gets caught with that punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice leg kick land. Gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Nice work. Nobody's hit that guy like that. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Gets up again here, but hurting. Big 
leg kick land. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. How about that shin? Beautiful head kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight Whoa! and so accurate. And just like that, the fight is over. Yo, wow! That was nasty! Oh my goodness, what a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of round number four. To play the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that.